They picked Akoni up one morning, beat him soft like clay, and stuffed him down the belly of a waiting jeep. What business of mine is it? So long they don't take the yam from my severing mouth. They came one night, booted the whole house awake, and dragged down Laddy out, then off to a lengthy silent absence. What business of mine is it, so long they don't take my yam from my severing mouth? Chimwe went to work one day, only to find her job was gone. No query, no warning, no probe. Just one neat sack of a stainless record. What business of mine is it, so long they don't take the yam from my severing mouth? And then one evening, as I sat down to eat my yam, a knock on the door froze my hungry hand. The jeep was waiting on my bewildered lawn, waiting, waiting in its usual silence. Welcome back to Sahara TV. My name is Rudolf Okonkwo. Our next guest is someone very special to me and, of course, to Nigerians who love poetry. He is a distinguished professor of poetry at the University of New Orleans, Professor Niyi Oshundera. Professor Oshundera, welcome to Sahara TV. Well, thank you very, very much. Uh, I don't know whether to call you Rudolf or Dr. Damage. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 uh, it's an honor to have you on our show today. And, um, I, I, I know that this month is Poetry Month, and we are honored to have you join us to discuss poetry, uh, Nigeria, and anything else you want to talk about. So welcome. Thank you. Um, I don't know. Uh, whoever can blush at the other end, let her or him blush. I'm actually coming out of my closet uh, to let Sahara reporters know what they already know. Uh, the kind of hysterical and historic role you are playing in contemporary Nigerian politics. Uh, ten years ago, even five years ago, I never knew this kind of thing could happen to Nigerian journalism and Nigerian politics. And um, uh, we often say in Nigeria that our critics only criticize when they see things going wrong. But I think a balanced um, value of public uh, morality and public discourse must also talk when she or he sees things going right. The role of Sahara reporters in the evolution of Nigeria's uh, uh, democracy. Um, it's a factor that will be uh, remembered by history, no doubt about it. Uh, permit me if I do some name dropping. Uh, Omayeli Shure, uh, the intrepid, ubiquitous spirit uh, going all over the place and whose initiative is, is responsible for this revolution in Nigerian journalism. Uh, Rudolf Okonko. Um, Whose coolness and equanimity really surprised me. I hardly ever seen him angry. The Olafa is sparkling, witty, uh, keeping it real all the time. And the humble prince, I don't know how humble he really is, uh, followed it. Uh, the clan Gavin, who plays anchor most of the time, Quincy Bako, Fungal Maboroko, Toyo Sisteli, and Miss Sassi. That must be too much to just. <laughs> Why did I reel out all these things? It's just to let you know that there are old men and women like me behind the curtain who are watching you and listening to you. You certainly are not alone. Uh, everybody who's been calling you has been um, preluding their remarks with gratitude 
and acclamation and homage. You cannot have too much of this. Uh, so Hera Reporters have given us something that Nigerian journalism has never had in this kind, to this kind of degree. Creativity, passion, courage, professionalism, tenacity. Uh, the way you do this work is as if your life depends on it. Saturday last week, Sunday, Monday, up to Tuesday. I missed so many of my uh, so many of, of my uh, engagements because I was glued to the screen. And the interesting irony is that I was getting calls from friends and brothers and sisters in Nigeria asking me what Sahara reporters was saying about the elections because they had no battery where they were to run their laptop and there was no electricity. I'm telling you all this story so that you will know the kind of impact you've made and you are making on Nigerian public discourse. When somebody said during um, the uh, call-in session a couple of days ago that uh, Sahara Reporters is on its way to becoming the CNN of Africa, uh, I didn't see too much of an exaggeration in that. It is important for us to keep the feet of those who rule up to the fire, as it were. And I think this is what Sahara Reporters has been doing. I come from a city, and I'm going to go personal here. We know how much we owe you for blowing, exposing and blowing to the wind the Ekitigate story. If that story had landed in the hand of a journalist in Nigeria, it would either have been sold or it would have been killed one way or another. Uh, that is the thin edge of the wedge, as historians would say. That kind of exposure uh, has affected the last elections, and I think it's going to stay in our memory for a long, long time. Uh, have I been gushing? Yes. And I'm doing so deliberately. Uh, you, deserve, you deserve every homage we can uh, pay. And we also know that in, in, in uh, doing this, we are also asking you to please keep doing more. Uh, I think this is where I want to stop uh, at the moment. There will be time for me to do um, a little bit of writing on this. Please, again, I repeat. The role Sahara Reporters has been playing in Nigeria's politics, in Africa's politics, is not only historical, it is tremendously historic. May you continuously be of renewed strength. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Ni Shundere. Uh, he is the recently uh, Nigerian National Merit Award recipient, one of the most acclaimed award you can receive for academic ex excellence. Professor Ni Yoshindori, thank you so much for joining us. It is I that should be thanking you. Please <laughs> give my regards to all the clan. All right, thank you, sir. Including Kalidowo. Kalidowo, okay, I will. <laughs> I will. When we come back, we are going to talk to the um, director of uh, President Gulag Jonathan's campaign, uh, Amadou Ali. So stay tuned.